My name is Biju Nair. I'm the president and CEO of Hyla Inc. So we developed the technology and solutions that enable mobile device trade-in and buyback. And the best way to describe our business is, a couple of weeks back, Apple just launched their latest iPhone. And most people are lining up to upgrade for those iPhones at an AT&T store, at an Apple store, or whoever your carrier or retailer happens to be. And when you're buying that new phone, AT&T and Verizon, Google, all the big companies, they offer an opportunity for you to trade in your old device because these devices are getting more and more expensive. So they need an incentive for consumers to be able to upgrade. And that upgrade transaction, what is the value of your old device? How much is it worth? Whether it's a lost or stolen device, that transaction is enabled by our software platform. And then these devices get collected. They are sent into our uh, processing facility in Nashville, where we test them, grade them, wipe all of your personal data off of it, and then we find reuse for it in various markets. What is the biggest challenge I've exp experienced in this company? There's, in technology, there's always continuous challenges. But about five years ago or so, we embarked on a mission to try and change the business model of the company from a commodity buying and selling of devices company to become more of a technology and solutions where we license our software and services to existing carriers, retailers, and other customers. And anybody who's been gone through that process can tell you that that is one of the most difficult things to do. Changing the business model around what you're doing convincing your customers to go with that new business model and not fire you along the way, and what is in it for them, what is the value proposition that we are bringing, and convincing a base of employees that this is the right thing for our company because of people who are there believe in one business model, and how do you transition that away? So we successfully did that as a team, and that was a phenomenal success for everybody, and over the last five years, we're reaping the benefits of that success. As far as my personal management style goes, yes, we have to adjust along with every business challenge. I'm more or less a collaborative decision-making type of CEO. I rely on my senior management to help me with all the decision-making process. We discuss the pros and cons. But sometimes what ends up happening in a change where you're making a transition like this, that there is not enough time to convince everybody. We don't have months to get everybody on board. So sometimes you say, look, I have done this before or somebody else on the team has done this before. Let's take a leap of faith and go forward. And we hope most of the time that we are right, but there are times when we are wrong. You always need to have a plan A and plan B so that if something goes wrong along the way with the leap of faith that you've taken, we have a path so that our customers are not impacted and we don't adversely impact the employees in the company. The best business advice I have been ever given, I, I'll never forget this. Um, somebody told me along the way in my business life that build your products like it's air and water, easy to consume and hard to live without. And if you think about it, there's a lot of wisdom in that, right? You have to build products and solutions that actually solve a problem. You know, air and water solve a big problem. We can't live without that. So if we build our products that way that are solving certain problems, it's easy for customers to consume and it's hard for them to live without, the company will tre develop tremendous value. So what's our secret to retaining an attractive top talent? Um, you know, again, one of the biggest business advice that I got in my life was take care of your customers and take care of your employees. Everything else in the company, stock price, growth of the company, everything else will take care of that. Uh, we take care of our employees in a number of different ways. First of all, we have a vacation policy, but we don't police people based off of that. If you've got a sick child at home, or if you've got an emergency that you've got to take care of, go, take care of it. Don't file the paperwork required in order to you know, take a vacation day off, get approval. But on the flip side, we demand that, look, if you've got a big launch coming up, it may be a weekend's worth of work that people have to stay back and do. We, it's, a, it's a give and take across both of these things. Simple things make a big difference. One of the things that we are doing this year is we are flying every single employee in the company and their, and their spouse to Dallas, to our headquarters. We've rented a hotel and we're doing a big holiday party out there. And I did not realize how much impact. I'm getting emails from people's spouses saying that we've never had such an experience before. It's just awesome. It's a small thing. Yes, it costs a little bit, but what we get back in return in terms of loyalty and uh, people appreciating what we do for them is just tremendous. It's just, there's no value to be put on that.